marketing, link building. And um, <clears throat> what we're discovering is that the most effective strategies for local business is um, sponsoring charities, requesting existing links, and creating local sort resources. So today, Ryan and I just kind of wanted to talk about the um, expert local business link building survey that was done this year. <clears throat> and yeah. so it kind of talks well, I think, about... I think, uh -huh. I, think it's good to get some, I think it's good to get some context. So, so what we're specifically talking about today is how a business can get on the maps on Google and also rank better with their website. That's the bottom line. Everybody that we talk to comes to us and says, and by the way, we're an agency based out of San Diego. And, and like Chris was said, we, we do all businesses um, with this, these kind of strategies. But the bottom line is this, is that, you know, we have businesses come to us all the time and they say, Hey, you know, how do I show up on Google? You know, how do I get my phone ringing? And it's, I always say it's, it's like the tortoise and the hair race, you know, I mean, you, we can do search engine marketing, but you know, the example I gave yesterday with empire industries is bottom line is, is that that company four years ago didn't have any inbound phone calls coming in. Now they've got over a hundred a month. How'd they do it? They took the, the hair, they, they actually ran the race like the hair as opposed to, or the tortoise as opposed to the hair. And they played the long game by doing things like we're going to talk about today, which is link building. Link building is one of the top three, I would say, strategies that a business can take in order to rank higher locally for those keywords that are important to their business. So, you know, we talked yesterday, for example, about, you know, uh, voice search, you know, and we talked about the fact that, you know, Siri and uh Let's see, Siri and Alexa are both using Google, you know? And yeah. so if you want to show up for those searches, you've got to do the good old fashioned stuff that we've been doing for about a decade now, which is just bottom line is get more links. You got to get more links because ultimately that's what's going to make your business show up for, for searches that people are doing with their voice. Like, hey, find a business near me. Alexa, find a business near me or uh, find a... Um, you know, or a, an attorney near me, or a fine Alexa, find a dentist near me, or plumber near me, or, you know, plumber 33418, you know, and they'll put a zip code in. So they want, you know, or best plumber near me, you know, so they're getting very specific, these, these searches. And if you want to show up for those searches, you still got to do the good old fashioned work, which is building links, links from other businesses, local businesses, especially websites, back to your website. And there's strategies that we've been doing for the past 10 years to do that. And, and Crystal's going to share some of the data from all of these SEO experts out there that all agree with us that what we're seeing, which is that when you do the things that you're supposed to be doing, like creating content and distributing that out, you know, to the, cha the social channels like Instagram and Facebook, et cetera, you're going to get what you want. You're going to, you're going to get, you know, when you give Google what it wants, we always like to say, or Facebook, then you're going to get what you want is the bottom line. Yep. <clears throat> and, and the neat part about this survey too, is that it's saying that email is the most effective outreach method for acquiring and, and building those, um, local links. I forgot the word there for a second, but the in link building. And so, you know, yep. they're saying that you, you still got to <laughs> send an email and say, you know, nice to virtually meet you kind of thing and build that relationship in order to create um, that link building. <clears throat> Absolutely. And, and I want to, I also want to distinguish crystal, the, the difference between local link building and link building on a, on a broader scale. So yep. there's link building, and, and I want to make sure people understand what we're talking about. It's when a business website that's not yours has a link to your website. It's very, very simple, okay? And Crystal's right. The best way is the old-fashioned way. Reach out to them, pick up the phone and call them, leverage your, your resources, your strategic partners. Um, you know, we're not, I'm not going to give you all our secrets right here. I mean, these are, these are our, this is our intellectual property that we've, that we've developed over the years. And Crystal works once a month with all of our customers, at least an hour to help them 
post more photos to their social media accounts, to do the things that are necessary that will get them the rankings that they want so that they can beat their competitors. Now, what we're, what we can do is we can give you a local search audit to show you all the things that you need or don't need. And if you want that, you know, you can, Crystal's going to let you know how you can do that, but there's a difference between local links, which are businesses that are in your city or your town, the more local, the better. And um, those are the local links. Now, obviously not local would be links from businesses that are not local to your business. It's really simple. Um, I'll give you some examples, you know, like, uh, you know, you've got, you know, maybe like a YMCA or, you know, community sites, things like that. Those are, those are really good sites to get links from. And there's strategies that we implement to get those links that we, that, that we implement on a daily, weekly, monthly basis with our customers to get those links. And sometimes just doing it the old fashioned way, like Crystal said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then one of the questions that was asked in this survey was that, is link building a task you prioritize for your local business? And so 72% had said that it's, it's a very important task. And so they were urgent about going out and um, meeting with those experts on how to start building those links because it makes a difference in not just local or organic rankings, but it's also a major competitive differentiator in pack yep. ranking as well. <clears throat> Yeah, and, and that's and what Crystal's saying is that it's, it's not only as a differentiator for your business showing up on the maps, which is Google Maps, Bing Max, Maps, Yahoo Maps, etc. It's a differentiator for your website ranking in the organic search results, which is below the maps or everything else other than the maps. So, in other words, you get basically you can get a double benefit from this. And what we do see is when your business website your shows up organically outside of the, the three pack, which we see a lot right now for local businesses on the, on the map, we call it the three pack. What happens is, is then there's, there is a correlation with your business also then showing up on the maps eventually, very, very shortly after that, or in, you know, at the same time. So once you get one, you typically get both, which is kind of nice. Yeah. And then the other biggest mis misconception that they talked about was thinking you just get one link and you're done, or you just do it one time and yeah. you're done. And this is a continuous thing where you work with us here at Accelerate Marketing that we continuously help you um, not just stop at one, <laughs> you know, because yeah. consistency, yeah. as you and I know, Ryan, is the key to just about everything. Yeah. <laughs> it is. I mean, whether it's, whether we're talking about going live, creating blog posts, posting you know, images to your, you know, 73 directories that we post to weekly for our customers when we meet with them or even meeting with our customers on a weekly, you know, on a monthly basis like we do or 15 minutes, you know, for our value added, you know, uh, you know, phone calls that we give them once a month. I mean, it's, it is, it's all about consistency and everything that we do. And, um, and that usually that is the, that's the tortoise game. That's the, that's the long game. That's the one that will, that when you start winning at that game, even though it takes a long time, it really reaps big rewards. A hundred inbound phone calls for Empire Property Management in Houston, Texas, every month. It's their number one source of of in of of leads. It's their number. They don't have to do. I mean, now they've built their business around that. They that's what they've done. They're getting, you know, consistently. I'd say between ten and thirty new doors for their property management business every month because of it, you know? So mm -hmm. what, what can it mean to a business? It can mean a lot. I mean, a lot to a business, depending on how many searches there are for your business. And I call it the silent killer because you might not even know that there's a lot of searches for your business. The reason why you don't know is because you're just not ranking. You just think that there's, in other words, if you don't know, you don't know what you don't know. If you don't know what's on the other side, then you're not you're not even going to try for it because you don't even you're not even aware of what the opportunity is because you've never experienced it. So what I would encourage you to do is do whatever you can to get you know build the links, claim your directories, you know uh, get more reviews, do all the things that we talk about because when you do, you're going to reap the rewards 
for the long term, and it might take a little while to get there. But the beauty is, is that once you get there, it's almost impossible to push you off of that first that first page, you know, first position. I mean, it really is. That's what's so amazing about it. Once you get there, it's like you cross the finish line, and it really is hard to push to push a business off if they're if they continue to do what they did to get them there. And that's that's the great thing. So we're talking. I mean, think about that. That's a hundred phone calls a month. You multiply that times twelve months a year times five years or ten years. You're talking millions and millions of dollars of business for one business. You know? Yeah. Woo. <laughs> and so, in regards to that case study that Ryan is talking about, um, I just posted a link there so that you can download that case study and learn how a property management company. Um, got over 371 reviews on Google, got on the first position on Google Maps and generated over 103 inbound leads per month from the search engine. So if you just click on that link, it'll take you to where you need to go to download that um, case study. Yep. We have yep. a few more minutes left. And also for those of you that are watching, just want to say hello. And we've been lucky this week to have Ryan on a few of these live videos. So if you have some questions, definitely comment below or send us a message at m.me forward slash accelerate marketing. Because every Friday, I like to interview Ryan and kind of pick his brain <laughs> and ask him some really yeah. good questions. So if you have those, um, let me know and I'll definitely add it to the list. Yeah. And I, and I would encourage people, you know, yeah, go to m.me forward slash accelerate marketing. That's A C C E L E R A T E, accelerate marketing. And then just type in the word local SEO, and that will, that's the keyword uh, for Messenger. And um, then we'll, we'll deliver that, that PDF to you immediately. And, and we'll engage with you with an audio message or a video message and go back and forth with you, you know, with like live video, et cetera. So it's like, it's like we're right there with you. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, let us know. I mean, We've, we've got a whole outline, Chris, I don't know if you've shared the outline of all the topics that we're going over, um, but this is, you know, this is a great, you know, we're going to probably transcribe this and, and then, and, um, and create a blog post out of it as well. But, um, you know, we're just, we try to model the behavior that we want you guys to take. And um, yeah, there's our, there's all Here's of our uh, local SEO outline there. There's all the topics that we're, <laughs> we're going to discuss. And, you know, as Crystal's, um, going over these things, she's putting the link to the video out to the right of the topic that we discussed. And um, eventually we're going to create probably an ebook out of this or something. And, and um, you know, but this is a great way, you know, once you get the transcriptions, we'll put the link to the transcription right out to the right of the, the link for the video. And then you can just get a ghostwriter to write your book for you for, you know, two, three, four thousand bucks probably. And mm -hmm. um, so there's another great idea for you right there. But, um, I, you know, this is, uh, this is content that, you know, I'm sure just like, you know, we help a lot of property management companies, um, you know, the, all the property managers that we talk to are experts in their field, just like, you know, we've spent the last 10 years doing it, you know, we've gotten good at this stuff. And so, um, you know, a lot of this stuff probably does come natural to you to talk about. So, you know, I would encourage you to, you know, create content like this when you can um, to add to add value back to your, your community and, and, and to, and to build those backlinks, you know, that's, that is one of the ways that you can build backlinks. Um, and there's other, many other strategies that we implement so that we can get, you know, one, two, three, four backlinks a month, you know, for our customers. And, um, but yeah, what else, Crystal? Yeah. So, um, we're out of time, Ryan. <laughs> okay. So, for those of you that are watching Monday through Friday, we're live sharing some successful strategies with you on how to become the go-to business in your niche. Uh, this week, I'm talking about local SEO. Next week will be all about Google My Business. And then um, week after that will be reviews and online reputation. So um, today, I encourage you to click on that link in the comments to download and read the case study about how a property management company got over 371 reviews on Google, got on the first position of Google Maps and generated over 103 inbound leads per month um, from the search engines. We'll see you tomorrow. Create a great rest of your day, everyone. All right, thank you.